Queen of Bucks is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much. Oh my goodness, sorry. Uh, thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as yourself and others. You know, it's just like we really truly need that lives, you know, because it's just too much crazy situations going on in this world where, you know, hatred needs to be dissolved from each and every one of us. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. It would greatly be appreciated. I'd uh, love to give a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up Tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, love the, the information you're getting or even getting good vibes from the video you're watching and you love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some really hard times right now, please go ahead and share. You know, even they have the confirmation and validation towards the life path or even their soul purpose. And, you know, thank you so much for, oh, I was like, give me a thumbs up. I like it. Also, share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love, uh, love and support that you've been giving me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to um, Destroy Cancer Cells with Sound 10,000 Hertz plus 200, uh, 528 Hertz and plus 432 Hertz AS. MR magical wind chimes rain sounds and I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 Hayokas being grateful to move forward for, move forward to peace and understanding we do it's just like when we go through so much stuff you know you know i know a lot of us i know at least with me you know there's times where i feel like my frequency is low and you know you've been going on and being strong for so long you know and you when you have been going through something for a long period of time it can tend to break you down you know you're still grateful towards the universe but there times I don't sat here and told the universe even call cried to my spirit guides as well as my loved ones that have passed that you know come communicate with me especially when I'm you know feeling bummed out you know and let them know you know how you know I'm mentally emotionally and spiritually broke down I'm, I'm tired you you know I'm still so tired of living this life of you know the sadness I'm ready to move on and I, you know I and I have to ask the universe can you please just send me that peace of mind you know I know you just tell me to go on a little bit longer and there's times I'll sit up here and say I say I'm not trying to be rude and all respect do but if y'all tell me one more time to hold on a little bit longer I say I'm tired of hearing that but then when I sit back and see why I'm going through all the things that I'm going through it's not like I'm being punished that's not what the world wants you to think when you're going through stuff because there's always a lesson in every day that you're learning when you're in a certain situation you know you're trying so hard to you know get out of it but sometimes we're in that situation a little bit longer if we're not you know vibing on the frequency we need to be uh on or we're not aligned like our, you know our spirit and energy is all imbalanced and stuff like that and you know there's still negative thinking you're still dwelling on painful scenarios all those different things and it's just like they want to be able to bless you with that beautiful gift you've been working so hard for and they already got it set up for you and everything but they're adding more stuff to it because they see how hard you've been working you're working towards forgiveness you're working for self-love love for yourself love towards other people you know we have to always be careful about what we project out to the world because whatever we project out to the world we're sending that towards other people and whatever has been sent out is coming back so it's just like you know there's times i even got aggravated when i was you know in my feelings and sit up here and say you know that's a lie you know um whatever you push back is what you push for you know whatever you put out is what you get back because there's a lot of times you know i went out my way to help people and you know um just was there for them you know emotionally mentally you know spiritually and then it was just like they went out my life or you know they did me wrong 
or they prayed against my blessings, you know, and I was really hurt about that. I said, why have I went out my way to be positive and nice to these people? And this is the repayment I get back for them trying to, you know, make sure they stop my blessings or whatever. And it, it got to that point at times where it made me not want to, you know, I just stayed at a professional level and didn't want people to know me on that friendly side because I said every time I do that, this is what happens to me every single time, you know, and it's like, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to do what I do. You know, I feel like if somebody's going to be in my life, they're going to be in my life like that. But it's just like I don't go out my way to do things like that anymore. I just, you know, help people on a professional level, let them know, hey, I, I do have love for you, even though we're having a professional, you know, conversation and stuff like that, because I feel like we're all on a mission, you know, to grow, to heal, to love, you know, explore, learning our self-awareness, knowing ourselves you know, for our true forms, because that I mean, right there is already a state of shock anyway, because it's like, yeah, you might know your empath, but then all the other stuff that comes along the way of you knowing about yourself, because like I tell y'all all the time, you know, just because you're a Hayoka or an empath or indigo, trust and believe there, you got many other talents that has just been dormant. It has to have somebody else see it if you're not, or you got questions about it, especially if you know you have a gut feeling there's more than meets the eye of you just being a hay oak or more than meets the eye that you're just a light worker. I guarantee you got more, four or five other gifts in line, but it's like all dormant until somebody able, else is able to see it or you stumble upon something that has, you know, drawn you towards that way. So it's just like, when I can be able to look at the things that I've done in life, you know, there, I mean, I had some sad times, but I also had some good times, you know, even though people have fell out my life and I was sad because of the outcome of the things that happened, I can at least say, you know what, I don't wish anything bad on them because that makes me no better than what they did to me. But I, I, I wish blessings towards them for whatever they felt like they had to need to do that to me for that they're being able to heal so they won't do that to other people because it's like whatever you project out to people and like you might be jealous of their situation but nobody can compare nobody's journey to the other one because everybody's on a different journey you should only worry about your journey you should only be able to to uh work on yourself now like i seen a post the other day it's like your journey is your journey my journey is my journey but if we can meet along there together to walk together hey we can do that too but it's just like you never know somebody's heartache you never know how many you know people struggle the things they had to really endure you know i'll just allow y'all to know a piece of me you know what they want me to let you know but there's far more other things i've dealt with behind closed doors that i really can be proud of myself and say you know that took strength to be able to endure all those different things that i had to talk about i mean what i had to deal with so being able to see things for what they truly are you know um being able to help people is truly a blessing to me because like i've said many times before going on a spiritual awakening and not actually knowing what it is you, you're wondering why people are projecting so much negative vibes towards you or, you know, they, they show envious, you know, vibes towards your way. And, you know, with you being a Hayoka, you mirror a lot of in people's insecurities and they tend to want to project you and say, oh, you're this, this and this and that. And don't realize they're telling you everything they're saying about you is what they're basically saying about themselves. So it's just like, you know, you're going through all these different things. And that could be a scary situation. Like when I told y'all, when I first started my, my spiritual awakening, it was very scary because I had no one to turn to. The only thing I, the only people I had to turn to was like when I was writing with spirit, writing with my dad and I would just write things and he would tell me what to do, you know, and he, he, he used to think it was funny because he, he would whisper in my ear and he's like, see how talented you are. I'm telling you exactly everything to write and you're doing it. You know, he's like, write this, and I'll say, write that. And he'll start busting out laughing. I said, stop playing with me. But anyways, it, it's just a blessing to be able to, you know, know the things, you know, having the spirit guides guide you, you know, along the way. You know, there's questions about your life that you truly need to know. You know, that's how a lot of people have been guided towards me, and I feel like it's truly a blessing. When I can go out, go reach out and let them know, hey, I know how you feel. You know, I'm blessed to be able to do this because I didn't have somebody to guide me like that, like I'm doing you. Or, you know, you're learning off of me and I'm learning off of you. And that's, that's a blessing. Like I always say, I'm a teacher as well as a student. You know, I'm still learning 
you know, the things that I need to learn about myself and healing and educating and opening myself up to beautiful blessings, open myself up to love. Because there's a lot of times I was so set in my feelings and sorrow that I've been so abused that I was so focused on that when I had love and reassurance was coming towards me, I blocked that because I was so busy thinking about the sadness and stuff like that when they you know and they understand you're you're in human form so of course it's going to be hurtful you know when you have done things for people and you know they took for granted for those situations or you know you you tried your hardest to seek approval or validation and was still hurt you know that allows you allow you to know you have to learn how to validate yourself you have to learn how to cheer yourself on you know, even though people have came in and out your lives, they weren't supposed to stay there for that. You know, they were supposed to be there for that seasonal situation in part ways. You know, even though it might hurt, it might suck, but that's what life is. You know, we're learning off of each other. And, you know, if it was meant for you to stay, you'll be there. If not, it's not. So it's just like being able to do these things. You know, I, I see the bigger picture. You know, I go along my way helping people you know, realize the things that they are. It's a beautiful gift, like when somebody can just open up to me and are like, Rosalind, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. You know, I'm like, tell me a little bit about yourself, you know, and you tell me and I'm just like, well, have you ever thought about this or have you ever thought about that? And people get really creeped out at times like, wait a minute, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> you you know, and it's like, I thought about that, but they were like, nah, you know, that ain't me, you know, whatever. And I tell people, hey, you no, know, if I got the videos for it, I'm going to send it to you and you reach out to this and let me know this you know do you resonate with this or you know there's a lot of things that I tell people that it's like I'm it seems like I'm an empath with Rolodex so it's just like you tell me these things and I can get a vision of your past life and it's like that's a blessing to be able to do because a lot of us you know we're working on ourselves and sometimes you know we'll get those visions you probably have them of yourself you you know going through your light work and you know going through meditation or when you're portal jumping or dimension skipping and whatever whatever else you you know you should go through you start seeing bits and parts of your lives from before i used to see them a lot when i was little and they used to freak me the heck out because i would be in a crying spell and my mom's like what is it i'm like i don't know my thing you know I, yeah you used to always call for my dad and i didn't know what it was at that time because i knew about this I, you know, I was aware of the twin flame thing when I was like four or five years old, but, you know, wanting my dad, but it was just the energy he had and I wanted that, you know, and it was just like, you know, I told my mom, my mom would just try to give me everything and I would cry. I was like, that's not it, mommy. I just want my thing back. You know, he's like, what's your thing? I don't know yet. I'll tell you when I find out, you know, cause I was a little, you know, four years old going on 40. So it was just like really crazy to be going through those things and sitting back and looking at it now. Like a dog, I was very spiritually enhanced at that time, but it was shut down because it was just too creepy you know my mom was intrigued about it but her husband was like freaked out about it like i don't want her talking about that it's just weird for her telling us that she she's been dead and she remembers her last life you know and all these different things so it's just like it's so it, it is a beautiful blessing when you have went through so much hell and pain and sorrow to be able to move forward to understanding why you had to go through that having a peace of mind to know that you know hey you did what you had to do and you're conquering it and those are the things you have to congratulate yourself for even if somebody else doesn't do it you should be able to congratulate yourself so i hope you were able to um resonate with the content of this video i apologize on the last one y'all because when i start feeling energy from a lot of people that you know endure so much pain it tends to you know pull on that heart strength i can't stand to hear somebody who went through some you know painful abuse because that you know it really messes me up you know with you being an empath you, you tend to feel the things that other people have gone through but um I'm going to go ahead and give a post notification shout out to uh, Dara Gobner and let me see Malachi Smith much love to you as well and I will see you on my next video hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend relaxing weekend be you know send out as much love and light you know uh, positivity as you truly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and like and subscribe give me a thumbs up 
drop me a line and let me know if you resonate uh share and hit that notification bell and i'll see you in my next video that's love peace be wild